Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the show. I'm Sylvia, and I'm here with Veronique. Hi, Veronique. Hello. Hi, Sylvia. How are you? I'm good, thank you. And yourself? Excited about, excited about today's episode? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to be a fun one. <laughs> Every time it's crazy, it's funny. <laughs> it's always funny. We are, we are yes. going to talk about... Um, crazy relationships from our 20s and i mean and, and the silly things that we did and yeah. that is it's always <laughs> so much fun to look back and think about how dumb we were <laughs> yes. and, and what they oh did to us some of the guys who like jerks but, yeah. right <laughs> so bad <laughs> jerks exactly <laughs> So Veronique mm. uh, is going to start telling us a little bit about her fun experience yes. with the previous someone. When I think about it, you know, now I'm like, how can I, tr was, how could I be so trustful? Mm -hmm. how, how could I naive trust or naive, yeah. Very <laughs> naive, very naive. Oh my God, this guy would like just open his mouth and lie. And I was like, oh, okay, okay, that's, okay. It sounds, sounds yeah, like a good explanation. So, <laughs> sorry. <clears throat> so, yeah, today we're going to talk about my five years of relationship with uh, this guy when I was in France. He mm -hmm. was my first serious boyfriend. And uh, I was we were really, at the beginning, of course, we were really in love and everything. And I don't know, after the years, you know, you know you're young, 23, 24, anyway. And one day, so the thing also in our, uh, in, uh, um, how you say it? like the in the people around us, I think we were almost the only one as a couple. A lot of his friends, they were, you know, singles. Mm, and uh -huh. that's for the crowd around us. And I think something was like, oh, you know, they're singles. And maybe he was maybe missing this part of it. Yeah. And also a lot of his friends were like, you know, why are you already, you know, in a couple? Why are you already living together? Anyway. Because mm. we moved in together very fast. So one day I was uh, doing the laundry <laughs> <laughs> and so we, oh, so yeah, also we, we live like in a, in a building and next door, my, my cousin and live next door and my, my aunt live from across the street. So it was like my family all around and it was really, really close to my family. So I'm doing laundry and so I'm like, oh, let me, I'm going to wash his coat. So I take the coat and I'm trying to remove everything in the pocket. And oh, what do I find? Hmm. Condoms. Oh, hmm. interesting. I don't use those. <laughs> I don't use condoms. When I saw it, I was like, oh, oh, <laughs> hell, uh, uh, uh. oh, no. I got, <laughs> woo, I got crazy, girl. You have no idea. I was like, imagine myself like in 20, oh, 20 yeah. years. Uh, a young girl with hormones, like crazy mm -hmm. hormones, went straight to my face, and I was like, "Yeah, you know, like all the names in yeah. the book." And she's like, what, "What are you talking about? What is it? What, what did you find?" And I'm like, "What did I find? What is this? What is this?" <laughs> and he's like, "Those aren't mine. They're not mine." I'm like, "They're not your. They were in your pocket." He's like, "No, I, I, um, your cousin borrowed that uh, jacket from me last week." Must be the, it must be his. Oh, of course. How oh. convenient. And my cousin was living with his wife. He was with his wife. He was married. So I'm like, mm. you mean he's cheating on his wife? He's like, I don't know. I don't know. But those are not mine. It must be his. I think I believed it because I was like, eh, I don't want to think about it. So that's yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. Second one. I don't know. After that, I think I was really suspicious. You know, I was like thinking, mm, this guy is doing something. He's doing some some stuff behind my back. Mm. And one day I was at work and I'm like, hmm, let me go home early today. <laughs> For no reason. Like on a Tuesday, let me go home early because he knows my schedule, right? Uh-huh. I go home like 4 p.m. I um, put my keys in the door and I, I heard somebody running to the door. And I'm like, he opened the door. He's like, okay, don't be mad. I'm not alone. <laughs> <laughs> don't be mad. Don't be mad. Uh, it's not I'm not alone. Yeah. Already mm. preparing his little speech. Yeah. And I'm mm. like, oh, really? So I pushed him and I'm like, 
So who's there then? Go to the living room. You have no idea, Sylvia. The crap this guy brought back to my house, sitting on my couch. You should have seen that girl. She was disgusting. I'm like, uh. this is what you're doing behind my back. And after you go, come and see me. And I look at her, she was like, huge. She looks like, I don't know. She was like, I, I, I don't even understand. For me, it was a, huh? She was a mess. <laughs> Piece of crap. <sighs> Knowing, by the way, that this guy wasn't single. And he's like, so yeah, so this is, um, this is her. He introduced me to her, whatever. This is uh, my, my, my girlfriend, Veronique. And I'm like, I just turn around. I even say hi. I just turn around. And he's like, okay, okay. So she left. Uh huh. And he comes back, and I'm like, who the, who's that bitch? And he's like, yeah, no, it's a, it's a, you know, you really uh um make me feel very uncomfortable right now because you know she's a friend of mine from from back uh, from back home from Guadeloupe. I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, you know, well, I I was at the mall and I just met her, and I'm like, yeah, let's go have a drink at home. But she's a friend of mine. She's not a friend of yours. You didn't know that oh, fucking bitch. Yeah. You picked her up at the mall or somebody, something like that, you know, and you brought her home, of course. Because these oh, guys, you know, they, they never go to a hotel. They will never pay for a hotel or they will, ne they will go to their own house. Mm -hmm. That's what they will, they will do, right? Oh, yes. Uh-huh. The head is called Craziness. so like, And you believed in his excuse with this one? How no, was that? this one I never believe. No. Okay. No. This one, I was really mad. I think we didn't talk for a while. or I, We didn't break up because, you know, mm -hmm. I think nothing happened with this girl. He didn't have time to do anything with this girl. And after, I think he stayed straight for a while because he was scared. Yeah. With time, I'm like, why, why are you staying with me? When I think about it now, why did you stay with me? See, if it was to do that all the time. But cheating on me all the time, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. But I think uh. he wasn't in love with these girls. Uh, because the last one, he was in love with her. And that's when mm -hmm. he really broke up. So mm -hmm. the last one... Which is the craziest one? Oh, the um, popcorn. Where's the popcorn? <laughs> popcorn, yeah, please. So, <laughs> at that time, I moved to England because I wanted to work for an airline. So I moved mm. to England. So we had like a, a, a distance relationship, but we've been together for five years. So I'm like, you know, we're fine. We've been together for five years, and so. When I was there, I was like, ah, if he's really distant, he doesn't cause me call me as much. Uh, he came to visit me, but after two days, he's like, okay, I want to go home. He, wa he was in a hurry to go home. I'm like, okay, he was supposed to stay like three days. He went home. I don't know what happened. Anyway, so one day I'm in my bed, and I think I'd, we talked about that in previous, mm. uh, you know, podcasts, like somebody talked to me, my yeah. uh, guardian angel talked to me and said, you know, <clears throat> wake up, get up, go and see. So I went, I got up. Took a, a freaking bus, <laughs> took a train, <laughs> arrived at 6 a.m. Because in my head, I was like, today's Sunday. If he picked up a girl at the club on Saturday night, oh, she's yeah. still going to be there. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? That's what I was thinking, you know? Yeah. She's still going to be there. It's Sunday morning. Yeah. And then I didn't have my keys anymore because uh, I left my, my keys with his brother. So I'm like ringing the bell and ringing the bell. And then I hear the, you know, the little Mike is like, uh, yeah, hello. This is 6, 6, 6 a.m. And I'm like, I'm like, I have a package for Mr. Uh -uh -uh from the post office. Oh, oh my God. No. And he's like, what? I'm like, uh huh, a package from Mr. Blah, 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 from, from the first office. He's like, I don't understand. And at that, at the same time, I hear behind him, what's going on? <laughs> like a female voice. Just like, like a movie oh, scene. Oh, oh, yeah. I got you. Oh, I got you. I got you. I need to open that door. Oh, that door is not opening. You know, if it doesn't buzz me in, it's not opening. Yes, yeah. And at that moment, somebody opened the door. Somebody's going out, you know, to, oh, to walk no their dogs way. or whatever. Uh, opened the door. I got in. I take the elevator. And at the same time, what's happening upstairs, he knows it's me. He got, he's like, oh, that's Veronique. Uh -huh. He knows it's me. He tell the girl, take your shit. Take everything. Take your kid, by the way. She had a kid. Oh. Sleeping in the guest room. 
Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Yeah, she's she bringing a child to sleep in oh, um... yeah. a trash, a trash. Mm-hmm. So he said, take your kid, take your shit, get out of there. And he's like, and take the stairs because I don't want her to see you. And she's like, no, I'm going to take the elevator. I want her to see me. So anyway, the doors open and we like cross each other. And she's, she wants me to see her, but she's hiding her face with her kid, by the way. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. she put her kid in front of her face like this. And she's like, good morning. And I'm like, hmm, good morning. And I'm walking. I'm like, I know this person, but anyway. So I, I knock on the door. He opened the door like. <sighs> he just woke up. He's like, I'm happy. What are you doing here? And I'm like, who is the girl who just came out of the apartment? And he's like, oh, that's so and so. And I'm like, how do you know who I'm talking about? You know, you're not, you, should, you should have told me, no, nobody, you know, came out of the apartment. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's just like, yeah. screw he's himself, so like an idiot. He, he's so because you're not supposed to see that. Uh, they are yeah. so stupid. He got caught so many times, and me, I was yeah. stupid to stay with him anyway. So I'm like, you know what? Don't move. Stay here. Because I, right when I say that, I'm like, oh, I know who she is. She's the mm. friend of my cousin. Mm-hmm. Go downstairs, go to the cousin. Buzz, you know, it's like 6.30 in the morning. Buzz him. He's like, yeah. I'm like, is uh, so-and-so at your house right now? He's like, yeah, she is. I'm like, open the fucking door. <laughs> like, open the fucking door right now. Open the door. So he opened the door. I go up, I'm like, I push her like, why she's like, okay, listen, listen, Veronique. He's like, listen, you're not going to break anything in my house. <laughs> you guys are going to talk, you know. But I'm like, wait a minute. How do you know all, how long has that been going on? How did you know about all of this? He's like, well, it's been going on for two months. Oh. Tucker, my blood, my cousin. You couldn't tell me what was going on? You couldn't call mm. me and tell me, hey, by the way, your man, you know, is freaking out, but. I think yeah. they were doing that dirty together anyway, so whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That bitch comes out of his of a room or something. She's like, yes. And I'm like, what are you doing in my house at 6 a.m. in the morning? Oh, you need to ask your boyfriend. Oh, oh well, no. Yeah. She's asking for trouble. <laughs> and she got it. And I'm like, I'm asking you. You right here. I'm asking you. She's like, <laughs> like smirking, like, you know. Oh, girl, I just punched her in the face. I punched her in the fucking face. Then I punched her in the belly. Ooh. In the face and the belly. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill you, bitch. Oh, yeah. And my Did cousin... Did you react had... or no? And then... No! What's that and, your, and your cousin was trying to get in the way. Like, stop, stop. Or... Yeah, my cousin separated us because she, she was... Like, and she was trying to yeah, get she at me to after. Get you. Yeah. She wants to get me. I'm like, oh, yeah, come, come, come at me, bitch. And then <laughs> my cousin was like, <laughs> my cousin was like, no, 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 not in my house, not in my house. He was afraid we were going to break his phone again. <laughs> you should have put <laughs> something on purpose. Like, here. He huh. deserved right. it. He deserved it, yeah. He was more afraid for his furniture than for us. He didn't care about us. <laughs> I'm breaking my furniture in my house and I'm like listen you bitch you can keep him talking about the girl from like you can mm-hmm. keep him I don't want him anymore and I turn to my cousin I'm like and you I'm not talking to you anymore you're a fucking asshole I'm not talking to you anymore he's like no no I've got nothing to do with this I'm like bye bye <laughs> that, that was like <sighs> what 6am like the whole building probably woke up the whole thing 6am everybody's asleep in the house his wife is asleep oh, his kids what? I was like, what the fuck is going on I mean, but the whole time, I think it was 7 a.m. with the fight and everything. Okay, yeah. Because I've been like, what the hell? It's Sunday morning, 7 a.m. What is all that, yeah, you know? Yeah, like, all this commotion going on. Yeah, the fight, the, the slur. Yeah, cursing, like, <laughs> lunatic. The cursing. Good way to start your day, your Sunday. Oh, no my morning. God, let's go to church after. Let's go, yeah, let's all go to mass dress up and go yeah so that was my craziness my crazy wow. uh 20s 
Okay. What happened so, after you went to talk to him? One guy. Oh, you man, went. the whole drama, you know, when you're in your 20s, so I go back to the apartment and I start crying. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Why did you do this? Too? I can't believe this. You broke us. You broke us. <laughs> I started crying. Then I was like, <laughs> I took all his CDs and his stuff and I threw them outside in, of the window. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all his shit out of the window is closed. He's like, oh, my God. Then that freaking bitch has the nerve to call the phone. You know, we had mm -hmm. like the, the regular phone. Yeah. I'm like, hello. And she's like, um, can I speak to uh, him? And I'm yelling, I'm like, I'm in my house, I'm in my house. And she's like, I don't care, it's going to call me back anyway. And I hang up on her. Mm. And then at the end, you know, we're like, you know, I was crying, he was crying, no, I'm sorry. And then he's like, okay, I'm sorry. I know, I know, I know, I, I know I fucked up. I still love you. I want to stay with you, but I have to drive her back to her house. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me? Huh? No, this bitch going to get the train. It's like, no, this is Sunday. There's no train. I have to drive her back. I cannot let her at your cousin. You know, your cousin is not, it's not his business. I have to drive her back. I'm like, oh. I was so mad. So he drove her back. And you know, at the end, I went back to England and um, hooked up with another guy. <laughs> <laughs> of course. No, but, no. Of course. <laughs> no, I went back to England and at the end, they stayed together. They had a kid together. They never got married. They stayed together. No, did they have a kid together? No, they never had a kid together. They stayed together and I think I, they, they stayed together for a while. But you mm. know, after that, the cheating and everything, yeah, he stayed with her. Oh, wow. So, for how many yeah. years? Like Maybe three or four, I don't remember. Oh, yeah? Not a lot. Mm -hmm. Not a lot. Did she have a, a, a kid with him? I don't remember. Because I know he has he has a daughter now, but... Um... But you don't, you, uh, do you know where he lives now? No. Or is he still in the same circle? circle so he, he was in the same circle for a while. Uh -huh. So when my cousin, you know, this one got finally got married with that girlfriend, long time girlfriend, invited me. <clears throat> it was like a year after. He's like, no, okay, Vernick, you know, invited to the wedding. I'm like, okay, cool. And I see on the list that boyfriend, my ex boyfriend, is one of the groomsmen. Oh, I'm like, nice. oh excuse me, why is he sitting in the <laughs> of this guy? We're not together anymore. Why is he still here? You shouldn't talk to him. He's like. Oh, no, he's my, he's one of my best friends. I cannot tell him not to come. I'm like, oh. and I'm like, I don't want that bitch to be at the wedding, though. He's not allowed <laughs> to come with that fucking bitch. And he's like, no, yeah. no, she's not invited. She's not invited. I'm like, okay. So I go there <laughs> and listen to this. So that's something else. I go there. His brother comes to me after the church and he's like, you have to take him back. You have to take him back. I'm like, what? He's like, He's been bewitched. The girl's mother oh. is a witch. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. Like that, that links yeah, okay. to the other uh, podcast. Links yes. to what we already I talked people. about. <laughs> Caribbean people with their superstitions. He's uh, been bewitched. Yeah. The mother is a witch and she put a spell on him. That's oh, why yeah. that happened with you. I'm like, sure. She's put a spell on his. Mm -hmm. Sure, she did. <laughs> Uh, leave me out of it. I'm like, no, no, no. It's been a year. I'm, I'm over him anyway. I don't want him anymore. Are you crazy? No, no, I'm out. And he was like, oh, no, the wedding should not. No, no, leave me alone. And then <clears throat> we'll go to the wedding. Everything is okay. Who I turn around. Who is serving petit, petit fou and pate on the, on, you know, on the, like she's part of the staff or something, like to the guest. You want to, you want a pate? <laughs> No, wanna... Veronique, these things are like, oh, it's like movie stories or like a, a soap, a telenovela. It's unbelievable. Like you could be a great telenovela story. And then she shows up yeah. serving you. She shows up. The reception, she wasn't at the wedding. She wasn't at the mass. She wasn't at City Hall. She was she came at the there reception. at the reception. The middle of, like, you know, we already danced and everything. And I see her in the middle of, because there's a lot of people. So maybe I didn't see her from the beginning. Mm. And I see her like serving, like she's asking you. Because, you know, when, back in the days, the Caribbean weddings, everybody's helping. 
Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you couldn't do catering and all stuff was too expensive back in the day. So we just, everybody's helping. Yeah. You see that bitch like serving canapes? Yeah, no, 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 do you want? I'm like, oh, hell. So I go outside and I'm like, and I'm mad and I'm like, smoking a cigarette. <laughs> and all my girlfriends around, you don't care, Vero. You don't care. Look at you. You lost 20 pounds. You look fabulous. Look at you. Look at you. You look. Fabulous. You don't care about that jerk. You don't care. <laughs> she looks gross. <laughs> oh, the friends. Yeah. God. And then wow. see her outside talking with the bride. And she told, and she's like, I'm dressing the bride. And she's like, thank you for inviting me. So uh -huh. they didn't invite her. They didn't invite her. At the end, they didn't invite her. Because when I told my cousin, if, he's, if I'm coming, he's not coming. And my mm -hmm. cousin went like, I cannot change the wedding now because we already have the, all the bridesmen and all the grooms, you know, the groomsmen, yeah. they go together, right? It's like, I cannot change numbers now. I'm like, I don't care. And after, after the end, I'm like, okay, I'm coming if he's coming, but this bitch is not coming. She's not coming. It's like, no, 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 she's not going to be there. Who's serving canapé right now? <laughs> yeah. Excuse me? Are you out of stuff? <laughs> at least you didn't go talk to her. And they were still together no. at the time. Probably. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. They were living together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my oh, goodness. Yeah, we were together. When, we, when this happened, when we didn't even broke up, when this other thing happened, I discovered them and everything, caught him in the act, I went back to England. He told me, okay, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna uh, uh, work a little bit here. Then I'm going to quit my job and I'm going to move with you in England. This is where we're going to be together. Because mm -hmm. being separated doesn't work for us. I'm like, okay. I go back to England. A few weeks later, this <laughs> wait, no, seriously, no. This guy is like really like took me for a ride. Yeah. A few weeks later, I hear from other people in my family. Oh no, he went to Guadeloupe with this girl to introduce her to his parents. Oh wow! <laughs> and his parents don't even know we are breaking up. I the mean, thing we're together. And the whole thing but of like, everybody friend. knows each other, like you guys all living in, like we all know each other. So like he's doing these things. Doesn't he? Does yeah. he know that you'd find out? It's hilarious. He doesn't care, you know. He's, this guy oh. was like twenty five. Why do they care? They don't. Yeah, know. Like, uh, At that yeah. age, they're not even like the, the brain is not even done. No, he yeah. was thinking. He was thinking with his brain down there. That's all he was thinking, you yeah. know, with. So, <laughs> yeah, you know. The, and then, the day I married Pascal, what did I hear? I married Pascal in Martin. That bitch got married the same day than me in Guadeloupe. Not with him though, with another guy. The she got same, married the same day. day. Exactly the same, the same day. day. The same day. <laughs> She's following me. But you know what's funny now? I don't remember her name. I don't even remember her name. I don't remember her face. If I see her on the street, I wouldn't, I couldn't tell you who we were, who she is. I don't remember anything about her. And I was mad about this, this for like at least for seven years. a long years. time, right? Yeah. I can imagine. Like you, you're probably like even thinking seven about the years. name, anyone with the same name. I would imagine like, yeah. it was me like, oh, I, like, I don't want to hear this name. I don't want to like yeah. anything yeah. And related. And I don't even remember a stupid name or stupid face. I don't remember. But uh, you know, we were young. Eh, who cares? Yeah, and, uh, it's everything is like, yeah, we are, we are stupid, you know. Can... And actually, I, I heard last year that one of my cousins, she still see him or whatever, she hear about him. She told me that he had a heart attack, like, oh. two years ago. Wow, And he's heart young, attack. you know, he's not even 50. He had a heart attack, and he was so scared, he married his long-time girlfriend. Finally, he got married. But oh. he never married before. So but... he married his, wife, his girlfriend because he thought he was going to die or something. Does he have kids? No. Oh. He has one daughter, but I don't know if it's with the crazy one or with the the uh, one. Yeah. He has one daughter, apparently. Yeah. He has oh, one okay. kid, yeah. Yeah. But, wow. What and you know when you told me he had a heart attack, I kind of felt like, I felt like sad. I'm like, oh, you know, because, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm you feel. Wins, right? Yeah. You know, <laughs> what are you going to wish like, him death? Yeah, like, no. no. It's been 20 oh. years. And I talk about it and kind of, I'm kind of joking about it. I'm kind of actually laughing about it because it's so stupid. No, it's a crazy you said the whole thing is like a telenovela. Yeah. Yeah. And the very bad ones. <laughs> <laughs>
Is there any good one? <laughs> no, like there's any good one. It's just like the typical oh. story that's like, it's hilarious. It's hilarious. Like, Craziness, yeah. You close the door, there's a man on the, on, there's got somebody under the bed or something, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like always those, I mean, like the jealousy part, like I me, know. like, I like, I don't have anything like that level, but I do have with just being jealous for any, no reason, like losing my mind. I'm like, who are you? Like, be so stupid. Like, there's no way if I did that nowadays, I'd be like, Patrick, nah. my husband's like, get out of here. You're, you're nuts. <laughs> but we don't have the same hormones. The hormones when you're young, when you're in 20s, is crazy. You can't control them. Yeah. That's and you're very thing. insecure. So all these pure insecure. insecurity, just like, oh, if I break up with him, you're never go I'm never going to find anyone exactly. else. Like you just settle for less for like all that crap because no. you're so insecure. It's ridiculous. Like, oh, and, and also I would have stayed with him just for her not to have him, by the way. Even if I didn't oh, want him. Oh, yeah. Anymore. Probably, yeah. Because then you have that fight. one. I'm like, she's not going to have him. I'm going to keep him. But even if I didn't want him anymore. <laughs> yeah, you're mine. I'll stick with that. It's completely crazy. Bitch was mine. Bitch. No, yeah. So, um, what about you, Sinjel? Any crazy oh hormones? Goodness. I'm crazy. sure you do. I mean, yeah. I like, did. those are like fat. I mean, yes, I did with my. It was <laughs> so. When I think about it, first yeah. boyfriend and totally like. You know, insecure, jealous, and being stupid. And then I was one day at his house, and then you went somewhere else. And I went mm -hmm. to, through his stuff because I'm like, whoa, that's what I do. <laughs> so I started going through his stuff, found a bunch of pictures from like early 90s from oh, his first <laughs> girl girlfriend. Piles of pictures, piles. I looked mm -hmm. at them. I'm like, oh, you bastard. I started like tearing them apart. <laughs> Scissors. Oh my God. It was like bags and bags. Like it was a lot of pictures. I just put them all together what? in a pile. Trash. And I don't know how he found out, but he found out <laughs> somehow. And then he was like, oh, how can you do this? You know, like it's like part of my past, my history. I'm like, I don't care. My like, history. Because I was like, I didn't have any like pictures from anyone. You're not going to have it either. So I'm like so selfish. So like, I I'm like putting them in a nice album, man. In yeah, bag. Like, yeah, so that's what happens. That you're all, although some of them were in <laughs> albums that still made it to the trash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then, you know what? I try to do the same thing in the US with an American. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Didn't turn very well. Oh my God. I did the same well, thing. I caught you. I mean, I, he found out later. I, oh no, I actually let him know. I was like, "You, you dated this type of girl, like you fucking." He's like, uh, "What? What are you doing?" You know that? Like a crazy Brazilian woman went through all your pictures, everything, tore them all apart. Like I did. A, oh no, I didn't do that. I just looked, but he mm. got so pissed off. Like he broke up. Did you look me. at them? Yeah, because I went through his stuff. I'm like, ah, come on, we do that all the time in Brazil. <laughs> you should know, no, man. You should know. You should. Like, you know what was expect. like, oh my God, the guy was like, how dare you <laughs> go through my pictures, through my stuff, and the way you react. Oh, you should have seen it was completely like, you know. Of course. I'm like, ah, oh, whatever. And I was trying to talk my to my other friends. Space. Yeah, my personal space. I was talking to my other friends from that are not Americans. They're like, well, I don't see anything wrong with that. <laughs> it's normal. I said we do at home. That's you normal. Do, right? Like you got to do a cleanup. See what's going on here. Like, hey, yes. what am I dealing with? So yes. I was always like uh, really into that. <laughs> Just doing a good investigation. <laughs> no, you need to, you know, you need to know what's going on. I mean, something when I met Pascal, I'm like, oh, let's go to your house. See what's going on over there. Mm -hmm. If I'm, I'm going to find, you know, a pair of underwear funny, or yeah. another touche breath or whatever, you know, I need to know what's yeah. going on over there. Yeah. You know, Especially because like that. this one that uh, with the whole picture thing, when we started mm -hmm. dating, he, if that's when we broke up with a girl. So they were still kind of like, oh, let's go to the movie, you know, that type of thing. <laughs> hang out i'm like oh my god that, so i was obsessed so i was like yeah super jealous of everything like i just wait, went wait. nuts he was going to the movie with the girl went, i was still like we we're like we we're like yeah he went and right in the beginning like we were said starting today 
He said he went, they went to the movies because she was visiting the area. I'm like, hmm. No, what? no, 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 no. I don't think so. I don't care. Friends, I'm somebody like, else. No. Yeah. I'm like, you were like, <laughs> no, no, no. get out of here. So I don't know. Making out at the movie? Yeah, you no. like, watch a movie like with your like ex boyfriend. Like, what kind of crap is that? So I was already pissed off from the beginning. It just yeah creating uh -uh. a monster that I was like, oh, this bitch hated everything related to the where she lived, like the 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 city, the you know. Then you go like the name from my previous, <laughs> like what's the name? Deborah. There was one that was Deborah. I hate that name. I hate this name. <laughs> <laughs> you become you know, completely like it's ridiculous. That made, that made me think that my um one of the guy I dated who, who was he was the crazy one, and I remember I think I, I think I was his first one, and mm. I, uh, when we met again like years later, he told me, "God, you have no idea. I had this girlfriend and she was so jealous of you." I'm like, "Of mm. me? We haven't seen each other in ten years." He's like. Yeah, but every time she asked me, you know, oh, who was your first whatever? And of course, I said your name, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And, you know, and, it's, and so I tell her, you know, not the whole story, but she asked me, so I tell her a little bit about us. And she was like, are you still in love with her? I, still... <laughs> I hate that bitch. I was like, oh, oh my, my God. God. Yeah, yeah, really? that, that's it. You yeah, like, and totally. Like, I think it's just women in general. She's like, she it's was so, so jealous. It's so weird. It's so weird. Mm -hmm. Like, ridiculous. I couldn't even drive by the place I knew where the girl lived in, in, from my first boyfriend, where she lived, the, the area. And, like, I hated driving by the on a bus. I had to pass by the area. Like, mm, I think that's where she lives. Like, you know, like, so just... It's a, like anyway, everything about that. Everything, like the loc <laughs> the, where she lived, her name, like the the sign. Oh. I found out what sign she was. It was a <laughs> zodiac oh sign. God. I'm like, what? I can't tell yeah. these people. Mm -mm. I think what helped me the most uh, about what he did, the, the boyfriend, the, the, the serious boyfriend, is like the girls he was, he was uh, being faithful with, they, were, they didn't look better than me. I'm sorry. They look like yeah, crap. Yeah, so weird, isn't it? When they and do they were that. like kind like... of a freaking mess. They look like crap. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was this big one on the on the sofa, on the couch. Yeah. And the one that I caught you with, she was like, she had a baby when she was like seventeen or something. I mean, come on, you're gonna take that on, really? She was like, like a... with a kid then, uh, like like... I guess, you know. That you know, it's just uh, that cycle too that keeps on repeating itself. You know, like those people yeah. don't get out of that. Like she's exactly. like she'll probably have like three, four more kids if I mean she yeah. don't know if she did in the end, but like and then probably that's the way she grew up too, you know, like it just repeats itself, like that cycle well, of her, uh her mom was a witch, so Oh, and that, yeah, like the whole Santeria yeah. thing that we are talking about it. We were yeah. In one episode. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, if she was a good person anyway, she wouldn't have never slept with him because she knew we were together because she was she was kind of not in my family, but she was the best friend of my cousin. You know, yeah, so she knew so, about us. Yeah. She, she saw, she saw that she knew that uh, him, I was going to say his name. Oh my God. She saw that him and I, you know, we were together. Yeah. So. Yeah. And then with a small child too, like uh, the poor child, I feel bad for the child being raised yeah. like that, huh? But something uh. also, that's for another story. I have to mm. tell you later, maybe mm. on another podcast. The wife of my cousin, I think, hated me and my whole family uh, because she was the one telling her in the ear, but you know, they're not together anymore. They're going to oh, break up. You okay. should go ahead because Veronique is, uh, is away now. She's in England. It's not going to, that's not going to, you know, that's not going to stay. That's not going to last. So you should go ahead and, and um, get your chance with him. Oh, okay. Mm. I learned that years later, of course, years later. You know. Yeah. <clears throat> because yes. when I was going to the house saying, oh my God, what she was, oh my God, poor Veronique. And after I heard that she was telling that to the girl, you know, oh yeah, you know, you should, should go ahead. That's why she invited her to the wedding. You know what? So maybe that's why it's good not to date anyone from your like small circle, from the street you grew up in. <laughs> like this, oh, it feels like there's no. always some gossip. Like people know, everybody knows about everything. Yeah. Like the worst. Yeah. Yeah. Just like go far away, find someone from far away. Like, <laughs> yeah, like I went the other side. I found somebody from the Caribbean. What are you talking about? 
yeah, that that shows you how it works. Because if it's like from the neighborhood, the same street, growing up, everybody together, you know the dynamics. Yeah. It's a pure gossip, constantly. Oh, like yeah. people know, it was horrible. Uh, know about your life. Horrible. Mm. My whole family was around, and there was a lot of little, you know, clan and little. Uh, a lot of stuff happened there. That's for another and they podcast. All, and they all knew, uh, and they all were from Guadalupe, so they all knew in Guadalupe as well. So it's like friends yeah. and Guadalupe connection of. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. we're all from the same, you know, island and stuff. It was that was a lot of stuff going on in that street. <laughs> <laughs> Telenovela. <laughs> <laughs> Telenovela, one hundred percent. Oh, we're almost what? out of time. Do you, do you have yeah. another one? Or Stalking no. story or anything? No. Uh, no. I mean, there's always like those ones are always good, but we are running out of time. Like this, your story was so good that <laughs> you should like like separate a whole episode just for that. Like, yeah, you can't add anything else to that, please. Oh my god, it's... I'm gonna send it to a uh, Hallmark uh, TV channel. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Like, hey, don't steal my story. Trademark oh. it, because you know. Yeah, it's <laughs> and it's a real story. I saw the fact that I heard that voice telling me to go and see, and I go and there was something to see. It's unbelievable, right? Unbelievable. I can, still, can believe it that somebody told me you need to go there, and I'm still waiting for that voice to give me the numbers of the lottery or something. <laughs> Trust your intuition, guys. Yeah. It's another yes. lesson from yes. this episode. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Well, thank you for listening to my crazy story and uh, Sylvia's. Tearing up photo. We don't know why, but she did. Yeah, because I was so confident and so secure of myself. <laughs> oh, back in Brazil, and for me, it was back in France. So, same story, you know, some yeah. craziness. Um, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, uh, TikTok, Pinterest, and YouTube. Yes, and also leave us a review if you can on iTunes. I think on Spotify, you, do, you can leave reviews, right? But on iTunes, they really, so. yeah. they really make a difference. If you can leave a review there for our podcast, mm-hmm. that would be great. Yes. All right. Don't forget to share. Yes. <laughs> Thank yes, you. Bye-bye. Bye. Take care.